Alright oh, then guys, welcome, I'm Kills of Frills, and I actually ended up getting maybe around 35 kills on this with uh, just the lav, so I did pretty well, and this is going to be a little tutorial really to use this lav because it's such a good weapon to use on Caspian board as well. So this is the lav AD, which is basically the same as, it's the same as the lav 25, um, although it's equipped with the 25mm Gatling gun, and it's able to have surface to air missiles as well and it's only one seater as well which is the difference to the uh, lav 25 which uh, you'll see on a load of maps but uh, yeah it's available on Caspian Border, Operation Firestorm and Karg Island I'm playing it on uh, Caspian Border and uh, the, really the stats I'm using or the loadout I'm using is IR smoke, air to air missiles and maintenance so you know maintenance you can kind of switch it around um, but definitely use IR smoke because if there's anything you can see from this gameplay it is that I had to rely on IR smoke quite a lot and that's just because obviously if, if you're taking out the enemy's air defense continuously which is what I was doing in this gameplay and is pretty much what you should do um, when, you're, when you're using this weapon is they're going to be coming at you like hell and you can see the starting starter of this and this went on for about 20 minutes just continuously taking out air defense after air defense and they started getting pretty pissed off as well so they tried to take me out quite a lot and failed miserably uh, if the first clip you saw of the music that was actually maybe their third attempt or fourth attempt in a helicopter to take me out and yeah they were failing quite a lot but it just shows that people do target ground um, vehicles who are getting all the kills in the air because you know basically the common rule in battle is if you can control the air you're going to be having superiority over the whole map and I was pretty much taking out the air single-handedly which gave our jets a big advantage because they can concentrate on taking out ground vehicles so um, I'll go into really the tactics to taking out air because um, there's a lot of controversy over the air t surface to air missiles you know not many people think they're effective anymore and uh, yeah, you know the range has been reduced from all the um, stingers and I think as well, which people have got quite, um, quite let's say disappointed about. Um, although I think they tried to do something to uh, upgrade the air to air missiles um, in the latest patch. But anyway, let's get on to really the whole tactics for the lav A D because it is slightly different to any other weapon in the game, um, even down to aircraft. So. My tactic really to take out these uh, planes is, uh, and I'm, I don't know if you've heard it before or not, it's kind of, it kind of, you've got to have the enemy in your distance to do it because uh, you can see when I'm locking onto them with my air-to-air -air missiles, I don't fire two missiles straight away. And uh, the whole reason why I'm doing that is basically because um, if you fire one missile, it's going to be coming up on their dashboard and it's going to start beeping as well. So they're going to think, oh crap, I'm going to have to deploy flares and then uh, because the range on this uh, air to surface to air missile is quite long uh, they kind of get cut short and while um, they've just deployed your flares and you've sent one missile out you can then be reloading your weapons again so you're going to pretty much have two uh, missiles coming at them after, and they're going to be defenseless, defenseless basically because they've got no flares so that's really the tactic I'm using um, another really simple thing to use is just pretty much damage them a bit with the Gatling gun and um, you know generally if you damage him to a bit maybe like 10% or 20% of health and um, taken off then pretty much the air surface air missiles can do their job uh, I know they're not that strong and you know if you haven't weakened, weakened them at all you, they can actually get away with getting two direct hits which is quite strange I don't know why Battlefield um, do this but you know it's just part of the game so really got to try and just use it to your advantage so just fire one missile, and even if only one missile hits, use your Gatling gun as well, because this thing has got plenty of range and is plenty accurate as well, so you shouldn't really have any trouble of that. So when it comes to vehicles locking onto you and you have to get evade, evade it yourself, I pretty much it, did common knowledge for this vehicle. It's not really hard, and I have smoke is a must, because obviously people are going to be targeting you every single second, basically. So, you know, just don't deploy in the IR smoke until you've actually got a lock on and even after that wait a couple of seconds because what can um, actually target you um, and what you have to be aware of is because 
most likely the enemy is going to be on the ground. Uh, the tracking distance for the missile is going to be slightly longer than obviously if it's in the air. So, and the missiles on the ground are actually quite um, significantly slower than missiles launched from vehicles. So uh, you need to wait a couple of seconds um, for the missile to actually get near you, and then it'll be distracted because you know if you're not if you don't wait for it to get near you and you deploy your IR smoke, then it's probably not going to recognize that you've deployed the smoke and it'll probably end up hitting your vehicle which is something I had problems with so um, anyway we're coming to the end guys hopefully you did find a new few tips on this and you can go onto Caspian border and dominate the skies like I've been doing so hopefully enjoy guys and I'll see you guys around bye